Hi students, now we will go through solubility of gases in liquids, right? We know that gases are miscible among themselves. The common example is air. Gases are completely miscible among themselves. Common example is air, where we have oxygen, nitrogen, other rare inert gases, right? So all are mixed up. All these gases are mixed up in air, right? And gases are also soluble in liquids and in solids right the most common example of uh, gas of uh, gases soluble in liquids is soft drinks right we know that soft drinks contain carbon dioxide right dissolved under pressure right that is the reason when you open the op uh, open the bottle of soft drinks the gas comes out of it with a gush right that gas is dissolved carbon dioxide right and it is under pressure when you open the bottle it the pressure is released right so the gas comes out of the bottle so and gases are also soluble in solids the example the most common example that we have gone through in previous classes also is the adsorption of hydrogen gas on platinum metal right which is also known as occlusion of hydrogen right if you remember you have um, done this in previous cl classes in 9th or 10th right so occlusion of hydrogen or adsorption of hydrogen on the surface of platinum is an example of gases being soluble in solids right now let's go through through the factors the factors that affect the solubility of gases in liquids first right since we are dissolving gases in liquids right right suppose this is a liquid right and we are trying to dissolve a gas say any gas trying to dissolve right so this dissolution process the dissolution of gas in liquid depends on both the nature of the gas and the nature of the solvent in which we are dissolving the gas so we know that gases like oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide are much more soluble in ethanol right now let's let's first do this i'm sorry oxygen nitrogen hydrogen are sparingly soluble in water whereas carbon dioxide ammonia hcl are more soluble in water and we know that ammonia and hcl are highly soluble in water right and if you remember we have done in the previous class um, in this chapter hydrochloric acid the inverted funnel arrangement if you remember right the inverted for in the inverted uh, funnel arrangement the water rises up right in the funnel and in the delivery tube right because the rate of formation of gas is less compared to the rate of dissolution of gas the hcl is getting dissolved very fast compared to its rate of production right so hydrogen and ammonia are highly soluble in water right and oxygen nitrogen hydrogen are sparingly soluble in water in general what we say is the gases that can be easily liquefied right the gases that can be easily liquefied are more soluble compared to the other gases which cannot be liquefied so the gases in general that gases that can be easily liquefied are more soluble in common solvents and now this is the nature of gases the nature of gases is that gases that can be easily liquefied are more soluble right in common solvents now let's see how this dissolution process depends on the nature of solvent right we know that oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide are much more soluble in ethanol than in water right and ammonia hcl hydrogen sulfide are more soluble in water right why these gases are more soluble in water we have already seen that in previous classes that ammonia and hcl are highly soluble in water in water we already know this now let's let's see what could be the reason we know that when ammonia and hcl is added to water it undergoes a chemical reaction with water right wherein ammonia forms an alkaline solution ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide further ionizes into ammonium ion and hydroxyl ion similarly hcl gas when dissolved in water breaks up into ions it forms hcl gas forms hydrochloric acid which further ionizes in water forming hydrogen ion and 
chloride ion right so we see that gases that undergo chemical reaction and form ions gases that form ions in solution are more soluble right so we say gases like like hcl like when this is added to water it will form hydrogen ion plus chloride ions right due to the formation of these ions these gases are more soluble in water right and what now what is the effect of temperature on solubility of gases in liquid effect of temperature right we know that we have done this in the previous lecture that when salts are dissolved in water they undergo iron di dipole interaction where water molecules will interact with positive so positive and negative ions right and water molecules will surround these positive and negative ions which is known as solvation similarly in the dissolution process of gases in liquid in liquid the gas the gas molecules or the gases also undergo solvation the gas molecules also undergo solvation right which is an exothermic process right it's an exothermic process because we know that gas molecules are already far apart from one another and therefore no energy is needed to to separate them right or to make any to distant them right so when gases are dissolved in water they will undergo this solvation process and this solvation process is an exothermic process which is which means heat is given out right so when the gas is dissolved in liquid it will form solution plus heat is given out this is an exothermic reaction right since heat is given out so when when temperature is increased right when temperature is since this is an exothermic reaction so when temperature is increased as per lee chatelier's principle lee chatelier's principle when temperature is increased the equilibrium will shift in a direction where where there is absorption of heat so absorption of heat is in reverse direction is towards left right where where we have no solution there is no dissolution but gas is leaving the solution in the backward direction so we say that increasing temperature will decreases the solubility of gases in liquid right which we proved based on based on lee chatelier's principle i'll again repeat this when gases dissolve in liquid it forms solution right and gases undergo solvation in solvent right and the solvation process is an exothermic that is heat is given out right so when we increase the temperature of the system in which heat is given out which is already an exothermic process when temperature is increased as per lee chatelier's principle this equilibrium will shift in a direction where there is absorption of heat and we know absorption of heat is in reverse direction right towards left where gas is getting expelled from the solution that is the solubility of gas is decreasing in decreasing as the temperature is raised right so i hope this is clear so on heating water this is a common example that when you when you heat or boil water as water starts heating you see tiny bubbles on the surface of water which is due to dissolved air since we said here that the solubility of dissolved gases right decreases with increase in temperature so when we boil water we are what we are doing basically we are increasing the temperature of water and we know th we know that water contains dissolved air it contains dissolved oxygen right so when you increase the temperature this dissolved air comes out of the solution Come, i'm sorry this dissolved air comes out of water in the form of bubbles this bubbles are nothing but air this is dissolved air right which is which comes out of water when temperature is re raised right and uh, we also know one thing that soft drinks right soft drinks are kept in 
freeze if the soft drink bottle is opened you don't keep keep it outside but you keep it inside right if you keep it inside it will maintain the taste soft drink will maintain its taste why because in your refrigerator the temperature is low right and we know that soft drink contains dissolved carbon dioxide right so if this open bottle of soft drink is kept in refrigerator the solubility the solubility of carbon dioxide will be more in refrigerator whereas if you keep it outside at high temperature the solubility of carbon dioxide will decrease right and the solubility and so the carbon dioxide will leave the solution i'm sorry the, the carbon dioxide gas will leave the so leave the liquid the uh, the soft drink right so inside the refrigerator you have more dissolved carbon dioxide in soft drink whereas if you keep it outside the carbon dioxide will leave the soft drink right so uh, you, it it will taste bad right because of because the carbon dioxide which is dissolved in soft drink will leave the solution now there are exceptions to this there are some gases like hydrogen and inert gases for these gases solubility increases with rising temperature right and one important thing is what is the importance of dissolved oxygen in water in seas in lakes in rivers we know that under water we have aquatic animals right aquatic creatures and plants right so aquatic animals plants use this dissolved oxygen for their survival right and aquatic creatures aquatic animals feel comfortable in cold weather as compared to in hot weather why because as we we have discussed that this uh, this water or the seas lakes contains dissolved oxygen right so when in summers when temperature rises the dissolved oxygen becomes less in water right in leaves in seas in lakes in rivers so due to less oxygen in water the the aquatic animals will feel uncomfortable right this is important rise in temperature affect the survival of aquatic life because solubility of oxygen decreases with rising temperature so the solubility of oxygen in summers decreases right in water due to which aquatic animals feel un uncomfortable because water contains less oxygen right and oxygen is needed for survival of aquatic animals and plants that are under water now let's see what is the effect of pressure on solubility of gas we know that cold drinks or soft drinks are kept under pressure right these are kept under pressure we have a bottle uh, which is tightly corked right and when you open it this dissolved carbon dioxide comes out of the soft drink bottle so when you increase the pressure on the water surface right suppose let let's take an example right let's if this is liquid suppose this is liquid right and this contains above liquid we have gas right this is liquid this is gas right suppose we increase the pressure Supp suppose we increase the pressure of of this gas on the surface of this liquid let's see what happens since okay let's let's normally see what happens when we don't increase the pressure the gas molecules that are there on the surface of the liquid some of the gas molecules will get attracted to the surface of the liquid and will enter into solution right this is how gases are soluble this is how gases dissolve in liquid right gases that are near the surface will get some of the gas molecules will get attracted by the liquid right and will enter the liquid right so this is how this these gases are soluble in liquid now let's see if you increase the pressure if you increase the pressure of this 
let's take it this way if we increase the pressure let's say this let's say this when we increase the pressure by pushing it down let's say this will come down right so we have more gas molecules right so when we increase the pressure the volume here you see the volume is v1 here the volume is v2 right so volume is decreased when you increase the pressure the volume above the liquid surface decreases so we say v2 is less than v1 right due to this decreased volume the number of gas mole these gas molecules will come close to one another right here the gas molecules are far apart when you increase the pressure the volume decreases volume decreases and the gas particles or the gas molecules will come close to one another right these will come close to one another and in in this case the gas molecules per unit volume right since volume is decreased so the gas molecules per unit volume will increase right so the gas plus solvent right here so when the gas molecules right these gas molecules were come close to one another since i said some of the gas molecules were attracted by the liquid surface and will enter into and will end up entering into this liquid right forming solution gas uh, forming solution so when you increase the pressure these gas molecules came close to one another right so more of these gas molecules will get attracted by this liquid surface and will end up entering into the solution right so the solubility of this gas will increase with rising pressure because when you increase the pressure i'll repeat when you increase the pressure the gas molecules per unit volume increases they come close to one another right so more gas molecules will be attracted into the liquid right forming the solution of gas in liquid right due to this the solubility of gas increases in liquid that is with rising pressure solubility increases now let's see this as per lee chatelier's principle right so as per lee chatelier's principle the temperature of the system will remain constant temperature remaining constant if you increase pressure if you increase pressure the equilibrium will shift in a direction where pressure will decrease right since you are increasing pressure so as per lee chatelier's principle this equilibrium will shift in a direction where there is decrease in pressure right so as per lee chatelier's principle the equilibrium will shift in a in a direction so as to decrease the number of gas molecules right or more gas molecules will enter into the solution so that it can decrease the pressure because we are increasing the pressure 